Okay, let's build the Oru Kayak Haven. We encourage you to pause this video if you need more time with any of the steps, and chapter markers are available in the description below. Let's get started. First, loosen and remove the shoulder straps that go around the box. Then, we can remove both lids, unclip the side straps, and take the parts out of the box. Hold the two folds at the orange stickers. Extend the box into a long sheet. Pop the hole flat with your hands as you extend it. Tighten the end strap on the front of the kayak. Push in the end folds so they fold inward. Place the bow bulkhead into its channel. Then place the flap with the curved edge over the flap with the straight edge and attach the buckles, starting with the ones closest to the cockpit. Repeat the same process in the back of the kayak. Remember to put the curved flap on top of the straight flap. Insert one side of both floorboards into their channels, then connect the four buckles on that side. Make sure to orient the floorboards so that the cross paddle icons on the floorboards match the ones printed on the bottom of the kayak. Connect the buckles on the other side, making sure the straps are tight. Then press both floorboards down at the same time. Install the crossbar onto the rail track where the double paddles are printed. Connect the bow footrest buckles to the front buckles with blue stitching. Insert the seat with the attached footrest into the seat column plate and attach it to the front buckles with green stitching. Connect the footrest attached to the front seat to the rear buckles with green stitching. Insert the other seat back into the rearmost seat column plate. Attach the bungees to the cord loops. Connect the seat back to the buckles with red stitching. Finally, place both seat pads under the bungees. Install the crossbar onto the rail track where the single paddle is printed. Connect the bow footrest to the buckles with blue stitching in the middle of the cockpit.
insert the seat without an attached footrest into the middle seat column plate. Attach the bungees to the cord loops. Connect the seat back to the buckles with red stitching in the middle of the cockpit. Finally, place the seat pad under the bungee. Unbuckle and remove all the seat backs, seat pads, and footrests. Loosen the knob on the crossbar one to two turns, then remove the crossbar. You may need to tap it gently. Unbuckle and loosen all side release buckles. Pull off both fairings and fully loosen the end straps. Lift up both floorboards to remove them. Remove the bow and stern bulkheads. Fold the bow and stern inward it may help to push with your knee. Press on the end of the kayak to fold it towards the center, then fold the middle part like an accordion. Push the black arrow toward the black target and the orange arrow toward the orange target until the box is formed. Clip the side straps, but do not tighten until the components are in the box. Place all the loose components into the box. You'll have to arrange the parts carefully. Make sure to not force them in. Tighten the box closure straps. Stack the stern floorboard, then the bow floorboard on top of the box. The bow floorboard says Oru Kayak on it. Tighten the shoulder strap loops over the box. 